Hey everybody, Sarah Grillo here, and I'm making a video tonight about the three stupidest things that I did while I was studying for the CFA exam. Now, the purpose of this video is to help any of you that may be making these mistakes to avoid these mistakes. So the first stupid thing that I did was when I was taking level two, I was in business school the first time I took level two, and I thought that I could pass it just because I knew stuff from my MBA. So I didn't really take it that seriously. Well, total waste of time, total waste of money. I failed miserably. In fact, if you follow my videos, the first time that I took, well, when I took level one, I was actually coming at this as an English major, had no background whatsoever. I actually scored way better with like no background, really like because I, I worked harder for level one than I did for level two. Level one was just an abomination because I was cocky. The second thing that I did that was also, can you eat your dinner, please? Please. The second thing that I did was uh, when I took level three, I didn't really take it that seriously because I had heard that everybody passes level three. So, okay. All right, I heard you, I'm sorry. Okay, I won't be as loud, I'm sorry. So I heard that it was really easy to pass the exam and so I didn't even really give that much of an attempt to studying. Like I really, you know, I had, it was at the point actually when I was laid off from Lehman Brothers and I was like a little bit kind of directionless and just had no commitment to it. Huge mistake. Um, don't underestimate level three. Okay, can you eat, please? Please, can you eat? Mommy's almost done. The third thing that I did that was a dumb mistake when I was taking the CFA was that I told people about it. Now, the first time I took, well, when I took level one, I didn't really tell anybody about it other than the people from work. But then as I started to get more advanced in the program, like level two and three, everybody knew that I was doing it. And that actually put a lot more pressure on me. I think that if I had to go back in time, I would have definitely like not told anybody at like to the maximum extent possible, I would have avoided it because it becomes this whole Thing. Like everybody has these expectations for you. Like when I took level one, everybody expected me to fail. And if you follow my story, that was really the biggest shock to them when I, as an English major and no background, came out and passed it. Um, so that was kind of like the expectation was going in my favor because the pressure was off of me. But just keep in mind that the more people you tell, every person you tell, you're just adding pressure. So the dumb mistake I made was I thought that maybe telling people would give me support, but don't make that mistake. Just don't tell anybody. If possible, like tell nobody that you're doing it, except probably your boss has to know, but like that's the only person really in your life that has to know. So that's what I would suggest. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. Sorry for the background noise. You know, this is like, my business is actually really jacked up a lot this year. So this is the only free time I have to do to make my videos is actually on the weekend. So sorry that there's like kid noises and stuff like that. Everybody, anyways, thanks for watching. Gotta go. Bye. <laughs>